everyone today it is quite dark in the afternoon by the time we returned back from menindee lakes so we decided to enjoy our evening exploring line of load in broken hill and head to bikeless the next day early morning Line of Lord is the world's largest bodies of ore containing the silver, lead and zinc that made fortunes in this remote outback town of Broken Hill. This is an icon for Broken Hill and the mining industry. The Line of Lord is the ore body that bisects the town and it is also the perfect place for the stargazing at night. While we were looking for the food options and for the dinner options in Broken Hill, one of the locals suggested to go to the Demo Club as it's a really nice club to go there as a family and especially with the kids. There are many activities for the kids to enjoy such as video games and also there is a family friendly environment. The food is also really good. We ordered mee goreng and some chicken shizzle. Next we are heading to White Cliffs and we will be exploring opal mining fields and fossicking. Everyone, so today is day 4 and we're going to stay in Dubbo and on the way to Dubbo we're going to have a stopover in White Cliffs in Vulcania where there is underground uh you know the people they have made underground houses so we'll explore and there is a lot, lot of opals um which are you can do fossicking so we're going to be exploring the fossicking today we couldn't do it yesterday because the weather was very harsh and today it's very cloudy and the weather is good so hopefully the things are open and we can explore some fossicking and then we'll have a stop over in Dubbo before we head back to city From Broken Hill there is 3 hours drive to White Cliff and there are few options to go to White Cliff from Broken Hill but we decided to take this dirt road if you want you can take the other route option as well Tucked away in one of the most remote and spectacular corners of New South Wales the White Cliff area is famous for its opal fields underground mining colonial heritage and striking desert landscapes Hi guys I'm in White Cliff This is the town in Australia where you can find real opals. So, as you can see, you know, behind the miners have dug under the earth and um there is a possibility of finding the real opals. So, we just um met some miners and they told us that you have to keep digging and it's like a, a white glass material. So, we are on the hunt of it. Um is it a bit raining here which is still better than having um the um, sunny day and i'm pretty so, excited this is called fossicking so as you can see there are a lot of you know holes that have been dug while being there you can explore the nearby towns of vilcania and explore the beauty of paru darling national park the town of whitecliffs is home to australia's oldest commercial opal fields mining began here in 1880s and people have flocked here ever since hoping to find their fortune You may choose to go underground into a working mine with the Red Earth Opal Mine Tour and try your hand at uncovering these glittering gems of opals. But please do check the timings as the tour timings are only a few options around 11 and 1 p.m. daily. But please do check it out before you head to Whitecliffs for the tour of underground Red Earth Opal Mine. Whitecliffs is also famous for its cool all white underground dwellings that hide the town from the scorching sun. In the month of May there is a Whitecliffs musical festival as well. You may need a four wheel drive for unsealed roads and national parks. Accommodations over here include motels, pub rooms, barbecues and campgrounds. Whitecliffs has a range of attractions such as underground mining, opal mining tour, the outback landscape and much more. The local opal showrooms in Whitecliffs are a great place to shop for locally mined opals and set by the expert jewelers. This place gets very hot in summer so most of its residents they have underground houses. God's treasures opals are buried here for millions of years and are still being found by those willing to move a lot of rock and dirt. It's probably the last frontier town in Australia in the middle of the desert. We absolutely love doing the fossicking and trying our luck finding the opals. I also bought some pure opals from the local shops. 
my tip for this place is that if you can come over here in the nice weather because this place can get really hot and that is the reason most of the miners they have made the underground houses over here the other tip is keep aside plenty of time for fossicking and also get the right appropriate tools for doing the fossicking I personally highly recommend this place because the idea of finding the real opals is so amazing. These are the hidden treasures in the Mother Earth and coming over here and exploring those hidden treasures is such a wonderful experience. I hope you are enjoying the Outback series. Please support us by subscribing and liking and we look forward to your comments. We have taken a stopover in Dubbo, but on the way to Dubbo, we're gonna do some stretching in the region of Kobar. After Kobar, we will head to Dubbo. So see you there in the next series, episode four. So stay tuned and stay healthy, happy, and joyful.
I have collected my beautiful pure gem opal and now it's time to get back to Sydney. On the way, we are going to take a stopover in Kobar and then in Dubbo. In Dubbo, we are planning to stay overnight and then head back to Sydney. I hope you have been enjoying Outback series. Please do like and subscribe. This gives a lot of motivation to make more such videos. Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. Till the time, keep smiling, stay happy and healthy.